Seoul is considering action as Tokyo includes its claims to the Dokdo Islets in its textbook manuals. The two Koreas are discussing inter-Korean family reunions to mark the Lunar New Year holiday. South Korean applicants are cautiously optimistic. And the culture and arts sector is making a contribution to the needy in its own unique way ahead of the holidays. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Wednesday, January 29th. I'm Luke Clary. Seoul is mulling over action against Tokyo for its decision to include its claims over the Dokdo Islets in its textbook manuals. Korea may collaborate on international studies into Japanese wartime atrocities. The Korean government summoned Japanese ambassador to Korea, Koro Pesho, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. At the meeting, Seoul protested and condemned Japan's claim of sovereignty over the Tokto Islets in its school teaching manuals. The Korean foreign ministry also urged through a statement that Tokyo reverse its decision to revise the textbook manuals immediately. Beijing also denounced the new Japanese guidelines, which recommend that school books include Japan's territorial rights over the disputed Senkaku or Diaoyu Islands. Following a recent string of Japan's infuriating actions and remarks, Seoul is intensifying its countermeasures. The Korean government plans to conduct joint studies with China and the Southeast Asian countries subjected to Japan's colonial atrocities during the early 20th century. Korean officials have refrained from collaborating with China over historical issues for fear of undermining the security alliances among Korea, China and Japan. Therefore, cooperation between Korea and China to counter Japan's claims could apply pressure on the Shinzo Abe administration to rescind its decisions. Customs procedures at the joint Korean Gaesong Industrial Complex could be cut in half as the two Koreas begin a pilot border entry system using radio frequency identification, or RFID. South and North Korea are testing a radio frequency identification system at the Gaesong Industrial Complex in the north. The RFID enables South Koreans at the complex to have more flexibility for their trip. When a business person who travels to the complex holds his or her RFID card to a card reader installed at the border immigration office, the card will automatically reveal the person's identification data. This computerized processing, which is installed at the immigration offices on both sides of the border, has sharply streamlined the entry procedures. Until now, South Korean officials would send a list of people entering the North via fax a day before. Then the North Korean officials would manually check the information by comparing documents. Under the previous system, it took 13 seconds for a person to cross the border and 15 seconds for a vehicle. Seoul's Unification Ministry says under the new system, this is down to 5 and 7 seconds each. Once the RFID is in full operation, South Koreans can enter and leave the Gaesong complex at any time throughout the day on a given date. The government will issue RFID cards to South Koreans who regularly travel to the complex on a trial basis. It will soon hold talks with North Korea on when they will fully launch the new system. President Park Geun-hye has issued her first special pardon since taking office early last year. Some 5,900 minor offenders and 2.9 million traffic violators are now off the hook in time for the new year. A total of 5,925 people have benefited from the presidential pardon. They include first-time offenders, those convicted of negligent offenses, and traffic violators. The number is considerably smaller than similar pardons of nearly 10,000 issued in 2008 and 2009. The latest pardon strictly applied to purely livelihood-related charges, and politicians, businessmen, and national security-related cases have been excluded. <laughs> Drivers who are under sanctions for simple traffic violations have also been pardoned on large scale. 
Beneficiaries total some 2.9 million, including 2.8 million who have their penalty points deleted and 40,000 drivers exempted from driving licenses suspended or cancelled. The exemptions apply to driving sanctions imposed between June 30th, 2009, when the last amnesty was conducted, and December 22nd last year. Those excluded include drunk drivers, hit and runs, convicts who are previously pardoned, and repeat offenders. To check pardons list, you can call the police hotline or go online. The ruling and opposition camps are butting heads over the nomination system for local government councils, but an agreement between them will increase the number of local council members. The National Assembly's Political Reform Committee has agreed to increase the number of council members for major metropolitan and local governments. Consequently, there will be 12 more council members for major metropolitan governments and one more proportional representative. Currently, there are 651 council members. The number of council members in smaller city governments will go up by 21 from the present 2,876. <laughs> The two sides also agreed to arrange the order of education superintendent candidates differently for each election district. This is to prevent the voters from choosing a candidate based on the order they are presented with on the ballot without knowing who they are and just their names. So, the Lotto 교육감을 해외를 없애는데 아마 이 투표용지가 대단히 기여하리라고 생각이 됩니다. As for the abolition of the party nomination system for local elections, which is part of the presidential campaign pledges for both the ruling and opposition parties, the parliamentary representatives decided to extend the deadline to discuss the matter further. So the lawmakers only agreed to increase the number of local council members without finding solutions for the main issue. This has led critics to denounce it as the party's ploy to beef up their support. The holidays are the most hectic time of the year for package delivery services. The newly enforced address system and recent financial information leaks have compounded the chaos. Presents for the Lunar New Year's Day are piled up high in this post office. For this year's holiday, the post offices have received 13.7 million packages for delivery, a 16% increase from last year. Only 20% of ordinary Koreans used the new addresses enforced earlier this year. All the public offices and large businesses use the new address system. Most of packages are addressed using the old lot number system. Even the zip code guidebooks at post offices have only lot number addresses, so there is no way of knowing the right zip code when solely from the street address. 도로명 주소로 우편 번호가 어떻게 되는지를 알 수가 없네. 이거 가지고 오는 거는 이거는 이제 부주소를 보시는 분들이야. Department stores and large supermarkets that ship out holiday presents are confused as well. This is compounded by the recent information leak. 고객들이 좀 꺼려하는 것 때문에 정확한 주소 파악하는 데좀이 설에는 힘들었습니다. The new address system and the financial information leak have made delivery system more difficult this holiday season. The two Koreas are discussing inter-Korean family reunions to mark the Lunar New Year holiday. Considering North Korea's behavior in the past, South Korean applicants are cautiously optimistic. Kim Jung Hun, who is 102 years old, left his hometown of Gangye in North Korea's North Pyongan Province in March 1945, and came to North Gyeongsang Province in South Korea. He tears up thinking about his older sister and his hometown when he looks at the last family photo taken of his 11-member household in the north. Ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday, he's elated by the news of a possible family reunion. <laughs> 가 살지를 못할 망정 하나가 팔 보고 싶은 마음이 그야 말할 수 없지요. Some 71,000 South Koreans currently want to see their relatives across the border. Over half of them are in their 80s and older. Members of these families just earnestly wish the two Koreas will start talking again and arrange more family reunions before it's too late. 가면 그냥 그 눈물밖에 안 나올 것. A new survey reveals the modern economic reality of Korean life. For instance, Koreans now only consume two bowls of rice a day. Last year, the per capita consumption of rice in Korea was 67.2 kilograms. 
That's 3.7 percent down from 2012. That's also only half of the amount of 1970 when rice consumption reached its peak. The daily per capita for eating rice also fell to 184 grams. In other words, each person is eating less than two bowls of rice a day. In 2011, the nation's daily rice consumption per capita stood at 197 grams, falling below the 200 gram mark for the first time. It has been on the decline ever since. The overall annual consumption of grain per capita now stands at 75.3 kilograms, which is only 38 percent of the amount recorded in 1967. Also, last year the nation's migrating population recorded 7.4 million people, the smallest since 1979. The migration rate, which refers to the percentage of moving people for every 100 people, dropped with 0.3 percentage points from 2012 to 14.7 percent. That's the lowest since 1973. The biggest factor behind the decrease is the change in population structure stemming from the aging society. The Statistics Korea also cited the prolonged stagnation in the housing market and the activation of local governments as reasons behind their decrease in moving population. Donations to the needy are pouring in ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday. The culture and arts sector is making a contribution in its own unique way. Take a look. Volunteers thoroughly check old houses in this destitute neighborhood in Seoul. They are professional architects and interior designers. They have been donating their skills for nearly three years now, in cooperation with the local government, to help renovate the houses of socially underprivileged people. The residents are happy to make a new start in warm homes. This performance has a special audience. When the spectators recommend the performance to others via social networking sites, a certain number of audience seats is given to those who can't afford to watch cultural performances. Such donations is one way to help out the socially marginalized. 박수 치고 막 이렇게 웃고 하니까는 그 여태까지 좀 뭔가 이렇게 쌓였던 것들이 다 날라갔다는 그런 생각이 듭니다. Photographer Kim Jungman has donated the copyrights for his 66 photos to the government so that anyone can freely use the images of Korea's natural landscape. The culture and arts sector is helping society in a variety of ways, in a bid to warm the people's hearts. There's plenty of fatigue and stress associated with the holidays, but don't let it get the best of you. It could result in sleep paralysis. More commonly known as night terrors. Night terror refers to a condition in which you feel paralyzed even after you wake up from sleep. Here is a homemaker who often suffered from night terrors. She felt extreme terror because she couldn't move her body freely. 어렸을 때는 정말 가위로 말해 술 싫어하니까 매일 울렸어요 거의. 그래서 화장실 가는 것도 무서웠고 정말 여기서 못 깨어나면 내가 죽는구나 그런 느낌까지 들고. 제가 이제 뻔히 깨어 있는데도 아무도 저를 그러니까 나를 깨워달라고 내 몸으로 치고 있는데 나는 가만히 있대요. 다른 사람들을 봤을 때는 근데 그 상황이 되면 정말 무섭더라고. Drifting to sleep is difficult. She fears the nightmares could return, but not getting enough sleep causes more fatigue and subsequent night terror attacks. 벽에서도 무슨 기운이 날까봐 벽을 얼른 막아놓은 거야. She has even changed her bedding several times, but all the folk remedies for preventing night terrors were of no use. The medical term for night terror is called sleep paralysis. 어떤 수면 마비증은 가위 눌림으로 알려져 있는데요. 잠을 자다가 어, 몸을 움직일 수 없는 상태, 우리가 가위 눌렸다고 얘기를 하죠. 이것은 수면 중에 의식은 있는데 몸을 움직일 수 없는 상태. 대개는 굉장히 무서운 내용의 꿈을 같이 동반하기 때문에 불안, 공포를 같이 느끼게 되죠. This graph shows the eye movement during sleep. Sleep paralysis occurs during REM sleep, a stage characterized by rapid eye movement and dreaming, as seen on the right side of the screen. A person may have auditory hallucinations or terrifying visions because the person remains aware while the body shuts down for REM sleep and sometimes nightmares. 
It's easier to prevent night terrors if you know the cause. Stress and fatigue are the number one cause of sleep paralysis. Watching a scary movie or shocking scenes before going to bed tend to lead to this scary condition. Also, caffeinated drinks or alcohol which interfere with restful sleep should be avoided. Instead, have some kiwi or banana because these fruits are known to generate a sleep-inducing substance called serotonin in the body. Relaxing with meditation or music could help you get deeper sleep as well and try to maintain a regular sleep schedule. 밤에는 뇌가 편안하게 어두운 일찍 노출하고 그래서 항상 일정한 시간에 잠자리 들면 일단은 강인일 뿐만 아니라 수면 건강에 가장 좋은 규칙적인 상이라고 이해하시면 됩니다. Sleeping in a position that is most comfortable for you will also decrease the chances of night paralysis. Keep in mind these preventative tips to free yourself from the fear of night terrors. Because having a good night's sleep is the best remedy for a good number of ailments. Now we'll take a look at the markets followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Tomorrow begins the Lunar New Year's holiday, so we'll see you again next Monday. Have a very happy New Year.